Hey guys, back again, and today we got an unboxing, guys. I've already took the wrapper off just because I thought it would be a bit easier, but um, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, guys, has come early. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, doing some gameplay on this one, guys. Something is a little bit uh, on the old iffy iffy for me, and that is this. Internet required. I hope that only means for like if you want to play online and that does not mean That they need the internet because it needs a gigantuous patch like the other one did and basically The game disc is just a demo and the actual game is a full download If this is the case guys, this will be my last Call of Duty. I will be buying um, I'll never never buy it again after this if that's the case because I'm getting sick of it. This game weren't cheap um, This game in particular was nearly 60 quid and I just don't see what the fuck 60 quid was for if that's the case and We'll just flip it over guys This game is massive by the way guys. I read the gigs. I can't believe it. Look at this 190 gigabytes minimum guys that's minimum that's before anything you can already tell this is going to eat away at all your, your memory data and shit. But look here, guys. Look, one player, two player. It says campaign. It says all this. But the reason I'm iffy, guys, is because I've got um, Call of Duty 4 um, remastered. And I don't know if many people know this or not. But if you've got the physical game, guys, and you just put the game in first time trying to play it and you don't have the internet on... You can't play it, guys. It says you need to do a download patch before you can play it. You can't do nothing. And I know it's the exact same thing with Modern Warfare. The, um, you know, last year's game. So if they've done it with this one as well, guys, because it's not for all, because I'll explain now, guys, right? This is on Black Ops 4. And I can play Black Ops 4. No internet. It's fine. And all the stuff is on the disc. I'm hoping it's all on this disc, and it's not going to be like 30 gigs on the disc, and then a massive, massive update of like 70 gig, and that's the rest of the game. Because if there is, guys, then this is literally the last Call of Duty I'm going to buy, because I'm, I'm sick and I'm tired of it now. I'm really am pissed off with it, and uh, I'm, not, I'm just not having it, guys. It's an absolute bullshit at the end of the day. We pay for these games. They're not cheap, and, you know... Developers need to understand that we don't want shit. If they can't get it out in time, then just don't bring it out. Stop being a greedy bastard and catching for that money year after year. And wait till you've actually got a product worth selling instead of shit like this. So, But hopefully I'm wrong, guys. I might be ranting for nothing. So hopefully I'm wrong and hopefully it's just like Black Ops 4. I put the game disc in, the game disc will install. And hopefully I can at least play bots. I can play zombies. And I can play the campaign. I'm hoping the update will only do for the online multiplayer, you know, original. But anyway, guys, what do you get inside? Basically, you get, well, obviously, the game disc. And then you get this. Free to play for everyone. Warzone. Okay, anything on this side? No, as you can see. Nothing. Okay. Bit different. But I will, um... Obviously, let you guys know. If you see a gameplay style and it says rant, you know, guys, I found a problem with it. But until then, guys, I can't tell you no more. But really excited, guys. It's come two days early, so happy about that. But at least when you see this, guys, look, this is false advertising anyway, right? If it's not on the disc, it's false advertising. Because it says here, campaign, multiplayer, and zombies. So therefore... This, this, and bloody this should be standalone on the disc. The update should only patch out problems with games and and all that. But the fact that now they're bringing out more and more games when they're not ready and there's a massive downloadable patch from day one is ridiculous. I'm hoping they have not done that with this. But this here questions it. Because um, Call of Duty World War Two guys... You can't play that game without doing the first day patch. And I mean like, I don't mean like online. I don't mean just in general. You can't get to anything. All you'll get is a blue screen and it says patch needed. You can't go any further, guys. Don't believe me.
go and try it. By all means, go and try it. And there's a couple of games like that, guys, you might not know about. Medieval, that's the same. Completely standalone single-player game. Nothing online at all together. But you can't play it, guys, unless your PlayStation hooked up to the internet because it needs that day one patch. And that's what I'm talking about. Sloppy, shitty development that couldn't wait an extra two or three months of holding their game back to make sure it's ready for disc. They thought, fuck you, we'll bring it out and we'll... Uh, We'll uh, make sure you get a downloadable patch. No, that ain't acceptable, and I don't, I don't want that shit. I don't want it. So hopefully they haven't done it with this, guys, but I can't confirm nor deny that until I play it. But anyway, guys, still really excited about the game, really happy about it, and um, hopefully they haven't done that, and hopefully they have actually thought about their customers, and hopefully they actually have give a shit about the actual game on the disc. So, yeah, guys, this has been uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War unboxing. Hopefully you guys liked it. Um, sorry for the language, a little bit, you know, bit of, mm, but, you know, I have to be like that now, guys, because th that's what you get now. I never in my million, million years I would have thought that someone told me when I had PlayStation 2 that one day you'll get games and they're not even fully finished and they'll come out on disc and you'll get a download to finish the game off and uh, I would have never believed it, guys. Absolutely stupid. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to get on with it anyway, guys, in a bit, and then I will let you know what I know, guys. But if nothing that, actually does, I will do a good gameplay later, guys, and you can see we got up against some bots and stuff. And uh, I'm looking forward to it, guys. So, yeah, stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.